Hello everybody, welcome to your channel Equine Engineering. This is your host Chia Lelipur. Uh, in this video, I'm going to teach you uh, how to calculate the optimum lot size for each trade. And we talk about the mathematics behind it. I'll teach you the math uh, behind it in a very simple way so you will learn it. And then uh, if you learn it, you can program it and uh, use the algorithmic trading to calculate it every time automatically. Uh, I'll leave you the link to download the script that I wrote it in a C++ or MQ5. Basically, MQ5 and C++ are the same. And you can use it and see how I wrote the program. Uh, but I suggest you, if you're not familiar with uh, algorithmic trading, see the full tutorial video that I leave you the link here and learn it because it's very important and very useful. Uh, but if this is your first time watching our channel, please do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so whenever we upload a new video, you would receive a notification. And uh, I hope you enjoy this video and stay with me to the end. So how to calculate optimum lot size? What does it mean? Imagine that we have account balance by 50,000 US dollar balance. And we want to open a buy order in the current price. And uh, we want the stop loss be 100 point below the entry point. And we just want to risk 1% of our balance account. Uh, it means when we go 100 uh, point below the entry point and we hit the stop loss, we don't want to lose more than 1% of our balance here. So it means that allowed USD loss would be 500 uh, dollar and we call it normally when I program I call it maximum account balance loss or maximum allowed loss or anything that you want to name it I usually name it maximum account balance loss in this case in this situation in this scenario what is our lot size if our balance is fifty thousand dollar and the stop loss is 100 point below and we don't want to risk more than 1%, with what st what lot size should we open the order so when we hit the stop loss, we don't lose more than $500. We calculate it, but first, in order to reach the uh, uh, to formula, we start with an example. We should understand it. Uh, what does it mean when I buy 1 euro USD? It's only 1. It's not one, dollar, one lot. It's only 1 euro USD. It means... Uh, I buy one euro by UST. It means I have some UST, some dollar, and I buy one euro by it. And if the entry point be 1.09 and the uh, stop loss be 1.085, uh, because I already only bought one of euro UST, so I would have lost 0.005 US dollar. It's very important. The loss is always in the second currency. In the second currency is private currency, and the first currency is base currency. So the loss always would be in the private currency. The loss is equal to one, the amount of pair currency that we bought, multiply entry point minus stop loss, but because we wanna, uh, we want it to always be positive, and we wanna use it for both buy and sell orders. In the programming, I uh, program it like that: loss is equal uh, the amount multiply mass absolute multiplied entry point minus stop loss. So uh, always it returns positive values. I continue it. So here we just bought one euro USD, but if you buy 100,000 euro USD, 100,000 euro USD means one lot of euro USD. If you buy one lot of euro USD or 100,000 euro by changing our USD, then we would have lost $500. We continue it by another share. Here it's very, very important example because in this case, uh, the profit currency is not our account ca account uh, currency. Our account currency, we open the, our account by UST. Here, our account, our profit currency is not UST, it's just CHF. We continue it. When we buy one GBP uh, pound uh, uh, franc, one GBP CHF, it means we bought one GBP 
by changing our CHF. If we buy 100 thousands of GP CHF or 1 lot GP CHF in 0 0.95 and we hit the stop loss in 0 0.94, then we would have lost thousands CHF. The loss is always in the private currency, the second one. Here it is CHF. X multiply by entry point minus stop loss would be our loss in CHF, our loss in the private currency. This X is the amount of GP CHF that we bought. It's not one lot, it is just X. It's not based on the lot. It's just X, uh, for example, 100,000, 200,000, uh, 500,000, 1 million. It's just an X. Uh, then the, uh, uh, when, uh, in the next slide, we will, uh, we will continue to calculate the lot. But now it's just X, it's just amount of share or pair that we bought. This uh, equation is very important. In the next slide, we come back to that. Our loss in CHF or our loss actually in our private currency, depends on uh, the pair currency that we are trading, would be equal to our loss in USD or our loss in our account currency multiplied by this ratio, CHF USD. Uh, and uh, this USD CHF, actually we have USD CHF in our market watch, we just reverse it, it would be CHF USD. So we easily have access to this ratio and we can use code to reach it. I show you in the next slide. But uh, here we have two different equations. It's very important. The first equation, both of them are equation for loss in profit currency and loss in profit currency. Uh, based on what we have here, Loss in CHF, loss in profit currency would be equal to loss in USD, loss in account currency. Here it was loss in USD, but generally speaking, it's, it is loss in our account currency. Maybe our account currency is not USD, it is Euro. But generally speaking, loss in account currency multiplied by profit currency, it was CHF here, but generally speaking, profit currency divided by account currency. This is the first equation. And the second equation is the equation that we had in the previous slide. So loss in profit currency would be X volume multiplied by entry point minus stop loss. Uh, we have two equations. The first side of both equations are the same. So the second side would be the same too. And so uh, because the second sides are the same too, we can say that X is equal to loss in account currency divided by entry point minus stop loss multiply by this ratio profit currency divided by account currency this is our equation just this ratio we can just easily reach it by this uh, predefined function code in mql5 uh, we just can write symbol info double and it has two properties the first one is the symbol for example, GPUST or GPCHF or anything that we want, comma, symbol ask, it will return this ratio. But what is important is X is the volume. It is 200,000, 500,000. But we, want, we don't want it in 500,000. We want to have it like two lot, one lot, 0 0.01 lot or something like that based on the lot size. So X is equal to lot multiply lot size lot size is 100000 normally for the share, for the pair currencies like euro usd gp chf gp usd uh, lot size would be 100000 or for stocks like apple it would be 100 uh, but with this lot size command in mql4 it will return us the amount uh, so then the final equation for lot would be this equation here the lot would be equal to loss in account currency divided by entry point minus stock, stop loss multiplied by lot size command again the whole would be multiplied by this ratio profit currency account currency just the loss in account currency as I mentioned in the first slide would be equal to balance 
multiplied by risk person if the balance, for example, is 50,000 and risk person is 0 0.01, means 1%, then uh, this, uh, this part loss in account currency would be 500. And the lot size would, for currencies, for currency pairs, usually it's equal to 100,000. And for stocks, it is usually uh, equal to 100. And this ratio I mentioned, I told you, uh, we use uh, symbol info double predefined function in MQL5 uh, to have access to this ratio. Uh, this is the script and code that I use to calculate the optimum lot size. Uh, and I will leave you the link to download it in the descriptions. But please do not forget, before using it in your real account, test it in a demo account because it really depends on uh, your broker and some uh, criterias and uh, it is not tested for all currencies it's just tested for uh, major currencies and it's just written for educational purposes so it's not guaranteed uh, I hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it please do not forget to hit the like button so uh, YouTube algorithm will introduce us to those who are interested in these subjects too I wish you have a good day goodbye